welcome back guys to the tutorial on C++ programming language and in this tutorial we're going to talk about uh, the remaining uh, that is the increment or the decrement operators and uh, just like the other ones that we have discussed like uh, logical and the arithmetic uh, these operators are also used um, extensively and they are one of the most used operators into this uh, C++ programming language so what are these and let's just find out quickly so uh, increment operator is basically an operator which increases the value of any uh, variable by one or mostly the integer values or the double the numerical values just to be said so what happens is if I create an integer a and this say I make a as 5 right then uh, what increment operator is you do plus plus sign addition two addition signs or plus signs then followed by that variable and that's it right what this does is it actually increase the value of a by 1 so at this point you created a variable you make the variable as 5 then you increase the value by 1 and you are printing the value so it should print um, basically a 6 value so it will print it will be printing 6 okay you can see this it prints 6 so this is uh, and in this case we are using plus plus signs in front of uh, the a and that is the variable uh, you, it can also be presented as a plus plus okay it means the same uh, this is post increment and the before that was a pre increment operator they do the same work but their implementation and their results can be different how we can see this at this point the a is 5 at this point you increase the value of a to 6 the statement ends here and then you print the value of 6 okay so you can see this it still prints the value of sorry the value as 6 you can see that and uh, this is the post increment okay now why they are different uh, let's just see this if I remove this and put here okay this is pre increment it means this will be into the bracket it will be increased first and then it will be printed what does pre increment means is it means that the value of that variable will be increased at the moment and then only uh, uh, the statement will be executed in the whatever statement that is uh, this post uh, pre increment uh, uh, operator is used so if we build and run this it will print 6 as uh, it increase the value first and then print it and if we do over here a post increment operator then it gonna print 5 okay let me just show you it gonna print 5 as you can see this it doesn't it doesn't increase the value at this point but anything after this statement the value of a will be 6 so let me just um, put it in this way okay uh, Okay, this is the post increment value. Okay, sorry, this is the post increment value. You post increment at this point and end L. This will be printing five as you already know that. Then it comes to the next line and it will be increasing the value of A. And at this point, the value of A will be six because this statement has ended. So what does happen is it executes the line first and then it increases the value and the statement ends so it will be printing 5 first then 6 you can see that it prints 5 first and then 6 it means it is increasing the value but it is increasing in a post increment way so that is about post increment similarly there is one more thing uh, another thing is a post decrement or pre decrement it's similar if i put a as 5 and uh, 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 I'm minus minus a and then I see out a then it's gonna print 4 into the output screen simply as that and if I posting post decrement this value again and then see out this then it's also gonna print uh, 4 
at this point you have to understand this post increment and post decrement or post increment uh, or this pre and post works similarly for increment and decrement orders uh, operators and uh, there is nothing for uh, this uh, there is nothing as multiplication or post multiplication or post just for increment and post decrement operators there are only these two uh, what if uh, somebody says uh, and you can see that the post increment and post decrement increases the value by just one so people say what if i want to increase by uh, increase the value by two every time what you can do is you increase the value by two by writing this and this okay but there is one more way uh what you want to do is increase the value of a let me just say a is seven over here and you want to increase the value of a by 2 so what you do is you put a what is one way you can do a is equal to a plus 2 isn't it this is a one way another way is you put two uh, pre increment or post increment operators on a okay there is second way and there is third way that you can write that and that is just a shorthand of uh, this version what it is it's a plus equal to 2 what does this means is basically what does this mean is it is a plus uh, sorry a is equal to a plus 2 this is what this means this thing and this thing are same okay so why do we use this this is basically a shorthand which happens to be into the c++ uh, rather than writing this you can write this and it means the same uh, so you have to understand uh, let me just uh, delete this and uh, show you how if this works or not it's a plus equal to 2 and if i see out the value of a at this point you will get the value as 9 it was 7 and it is increased by 2 not only by 2 you can increase by any value for example i put 7 over here and build and run this 7 plus 7 should be 14 so it uh, increases the value by 7 and uh, at this point i should say with increment comes the negative also it means what does this mean is a is equal to a minus 7 at this point okay so similarly like addition we can subtract 2 from this and uh, you can see this it subtracts 2 from itself and put uh, the resultant value in itself simple as that it subtracts this value from this and put it into this put it into the variable itself so this is for uh, again you can use for multiplication what it does is it means a into 2 and put that a into 2 into a itself okay that is about this and uh, let me just build and run this and to show you that it does work and it should show you let me just multiply it by 4 times it will give 28 the answer Because seven into four is twenty-eight. You can do that for the div, uh, divide also and uh, the modulus operator also. It's not a problem. It will give the one as a result because you can see that. So that is about uh, this uh, post increment and post decrement order. And uh, this way, this is also as known as the assignment operators or the shorthand for uh, assignment operators. So. that is uh, the end of uh, all the operators that we have learned be it the uh, arithmetic operator be it the logical relational or the post increment or post decrement orders and we have also discussed about if and else conditions we will talk about this if and else conditions more and more uh because we're going to create some programs and uh, so that's uh, all from this uh, topic on uh, operators thank you guys for watching have a great day